aware that donuts are not the healthiest eating choice, but I do still like to eat them. So is awareness pointless? It's easy to dismiss cybersecurity awareness raising because we can be aware of something but still not change our behavior. But I firmly believe, in fact, I know that cybersecurity awareness raising is really important and it can be really impactful. It's just that we can't rely solely on awareness to change behaviors and positively influence cybersecurity culture. I delivered a keynote for the SAN Security Awareness Summit back in 2017 called Security Awareness is Dead. A controversial title perhaps for a security awareness conference, but the rest of the title was Long Live Security Awareness. I still believe in a lot of what I shared in that keynote, so I'm going to expand on this topic a little bit today. And this video is the first of a four-part series where I'll be explaining the key areas of cybersecurity culture as I define it. I've been working in this area for over 13 years with some of the biggest organizations in the world, and I've poured a lot of that experience into the guide to cybersecurity culture that we at Sygenta have recently published. I'll share a link below, so do check it out if you want to read more. So why did I stand on a stage in front of hundreds of security awareness professionals six years ago and say security awareness is dead, but also long live security awareness? And why do I still stand by that statement now? Well, it's because I think a lot of this comes down to our expectations of security awareness and also how we deliver security awareness raising. Not all security awareness raising is equal. Let me share an example from a recent cybersecurity culture assessment. This was an assessment of a financial services firm and we ran focus groups with all sorts of people from different parts of the business to benchmark the maturity of their cybersecurity culture. So what we're really doing is listening to the business. In these different groups, when we raised the topic of awareness, we consistently heard that the computer-based training was mm. terrible, ineffective, off-putting, just something to click through. Nobody was learning anything from it. So that is not good awareness raising. But then people started to talk about some face-to-face -face awareness raising sessions that they had experienced that were being ran by the head of security awareness. And everything changed. People's eyes lit up. They sat up in their chairs. They started talking enthusiastically and sharing some of the key learning points from those sessions. In these discussions, people were keen to tell us that the things that they had learned in these face-to-face -face sessions which were delivered months ago and they were keen to share the learning points with colleagues who hadn't been in the sessions themselves. People had examples of how their behavior had changed in the months following the sessions both at home and at work. So not only had this awareness raising stuck, not only had it changed behaviors, but it was also contributing to organizational learning because people were sharing what they'd learned with others in the group. So what does this mean for awareness raising? It means, of course, we need to move beyond generic and ineffective cybersecurity awareness raising that just doesn't work. We need to think about engaging interactive training that resonates with people. We need to tailor our awareness raising to the specific audience, to their needs and their interests. We need to help them understand not just why cybersecurity is important, but why it matters to them. If you've seen some of my other videos, you'll know that I often share videos that cover cyber threats and scams that apply in people's home lives, that apply to their family, in their personal lives, as well as in the workplace. You may want to use that content or content like that to show people how cybersecurity relates in their wider lives. Personal cybersecurity messaging helps to build a mindset in people where they're thinking about security. It helps to reflect that the cybersecurity team cares about people, it shows empathy, and it helps to build a more positive cybersecurity culture. When done right, cybersecurity awareness raising can be a powerful tool to positively influence behaviors and contribute to security culture. But it takes effort, it takes empathy, and it takes creativity. 
We also need to look beyond awareness. Behavior and cultural change also comes down to values and perceptions. And that's why this is just the first of four videos looking at the different areas of cybersecurity culture. So make sure you watch this space for a video on behaviors, one on values and one on perceptions. Don't forget, you can learn more about all of this in the Sygenta Guide to Security Culture, and you should stay tuned to this channel for more videos in this series.